earlier today, I commented that Trump lawyers wanting a special master, a retired or former judge, to examine all the documents and decide which are personal and not within the scope of the search warrant. I gave the opinion that filing an application for a special master now is too little too late. And of course, I stick by that opinion. But one of you has asked, to, or several of you have asked some very good questions. The lawyers were not allowed to watch the FBI as they went about the House. So how do they know what was taken? Well, they don't have to know what was taken. First of all, President Trump and his family watched the search through the Mar-a-Lago closed circuit security system. They watched it from New York. And secondly, one of Trump's in-house lawyers was there. They just didn't let her watch. But at the end of the search, they gave her a receipt for what they took. If Trump's lawyers had been on the ball, they would have taken that receipt and filed it immediately with the judge who signed the search warrant and said, we want a special master appointed because in here we know our items outside the scope of the search warrant, our personal items, our attorney-client privileged items. Of course, the government has copies of everything. At some point, it'll return the originals unless the originals are going to be used in a criminal prosecution. If there's a trial of Donald Trump and the government's going to accuse him of possessing original documents that the law prohibited him from possessing, then the government is going to have to present those documents in court. If there are things in there that are protected by executive privilege, I doubt it because the courts have ruled generally that executive privilege ends when you leave office. Uh, whatever it is, the government has seen it, the government has it, and the government's analyzed it. You know, even, even if some of these things were unlawfully taken, they can't be used in, in any criminal prosecution. The government's already read them. You can't unring the bell. The government already knows what's in there. I suspect that this evidence probably has some words coming out of the mouth of the former president, which is why it's been characterized as reliable. I suspect that either someone overheard or surveillance overheard the president saying that he has top secret materials in his safe. Knowing the president's personality and penchant for speaking in confidence to people when at times it's not in confidence, that's just my guess, or as we get it.